I think one of the benefits of being a truck driver, my wife was hoping I would gain weight. Getting the full view of my truck. Hi, I'm Johnny with Reliable. I've been with Reliable for a year and a half. Always had an interest in coming here. It took a lot of effort for me to make the decision to come. I worked for several car hauling companies before I came here. Hauled a lot of exotic cars, so this kind of fit my bill for what I was looking for. My truck model is a Kenworth T660. It has a hundred and, I think it's a 105 inch sleeper on it. It's changed the way we do things on the road. We don't have to stop and eat as much at the truck stops. My wife's able to make food inside the truck. We have a coffee maker, I have my printer. It's, it's just set up like a home. I mean, it's like a small RV for us, really. We don't have to shower in the truck stops, which a lot of people don't like. My wife's not a fan of it. This super sleeper, this bunk that's larger, I mean, it's got a really decent sized shower and a bathroom in it, and she does her hair and everything else in there. We go to the places clean when we leave. We can immediately take a shower and go to the next place clean. This truck is taking us on a paying vacation, is what it is. What I do, yeah, I'm a lease operator. I lease the truck. The double monk sleeper, my wife and I travel in that. My wife is with me almost all the time. I'm sorry she's not here today. Uh, unfortunately, but she's in Missouri. So uh, we travel together, so the bigger bunk is just amazing for us. She's been with me in an open carrier where we had the coffin bunk. She's ecstatic about having this. We haul exotic cars for reliable, sometimes prototype cars, sometimes people's personal POVs that have been, you know, passed down for hundreds of years. And we put them in this trailer. This is a six car Kentucky trailer. We put three up top, three down bottom if we have six. Many different configurations for this truck and trailer depending on what we haul. Sometimes we can only put two vehicles in there because of the size, but it's like a puzzle. So it always keeps my mind working and thinking and how to, how to do it. That's one of the things I love about this job. It takes me outside. I'm constantly using my brain, constantly using my body. I'm 52 years old and this job keeps me in shape. So uh, we're pretty excited to be here. We go from the southern part of California to the northern part of Massachusetts, sometimes uh, New Hampshire, rarely you know, any further up into Maine, but we've been from Seattle to the Florida Keys. Um, just enjoyed it. It's different weather every week. Sometimes we have snow. One, one week I was in Thompson, Manitoba, and three days later, four days later, I was down in Phoenix, and the temperature was negative 50 and 112. So it's just one extreme to the other. You can't climatize, but it's, it's an adventure and I love that, especially being, you know, I have a military background. I did 13 years, so going from traveling the world, I didn't get to see a lot of the United States, but I've seen a lot of countries. But now doing this, we, we tour the country in, you know, in style basically with our own RV and we get paid to do it. So that's the, the I mean, that's the top of it, you know. And to do it for a company like Reliable, they have a well-established company, well-established reputation. So we just came to be a part of the team. I came in and told them, you know, my experience. I've hauled cars for five years. I worked for companies just before I came here. Most of the people here know I came from doing just Lamborghinis. I did their new cars, their race tracks, all their races. And uh, we still get that opportunity here. I still haul Lamborghinis. I haul grandma's Toyota Corolla if she's considers it a prize and wants us to take care of it. So um, but we do racetracks, we do auctions, we do uh, so much stuff. So it's ever changing. It, we, it's not a boring doing the same thing every day. We, I could be in California one day and the next week I could be in Florida or Canada or just wherever they send us. So it's always an adventure. So one of my favorite features about this sleeper on this Kenworth is, is that it has a rear door. So I use that rear door for I, I cut my own hair, so I use my rear door. It's fully mirrored on the back, so I cut my own hair standing, standing on my catwalk. But I love that because 
even though I'm small, at the end of the day, you're tired and it's still kind of difficult for me, you know, to get in and out behind my steering wheel in and out the door. So I'll just come through the sleeper, get something to drink, sit down for a minute. And then whenever I go in or out, we always, my wife and I both use this rear door. It freaks a lot of drivers out because when you walk in between their truck and yours, they're like, where are you going? And then you just disappear. So they're like, I, I see them a lot as I step up, I kind of look back around and they're like looking back in their mirror like, oh, okay, you're getting in your truck. That's nice. I do love that. I love that feature. Some of the trucks with the sleepers have the side door. I prefer the rear door. I just like coming in the back. It works for us. Come inside. Let's take a look. This is the inside of our truck. As you can see, it does have a lot of space and we have storage cabinets lined up throughout. We keep our food in these cabinets. We keep them in bins and try to keep it organized. The drawers, when they close, they keep it secured. This cabinet is just our bathroom like you would have a linen closet at the house. I have all my hang up clothes in. Quite a few actually, it's very deep. We were surprised that we had this much space in here. This is our refrigerator. I mostly keep cold drinks in there. When my wife is with me, we keep food in there so she can cook it. Set the skillet up here. She's able to plug into any one of the outlets and, and cook the meals, utilizing the table for cutting. And uh, she's been a great help. It's been amazing to be able to make our own meals and have this convenience. So we get up in the morning, we have our coffee that we make instantly. This is like the office. I have my printer, all my paperwork, all of our office supplies, obviously my TV, so that when we have downtime, we're able to do that. It cuts into a lot of our extracurricular activities when you're down. You don't have to try to go somewhere to find something to do. We just, we have the TV right here. We can plug and play, have a sound bar, pretty loud. The microwave also works as a convection oven. So it's just been amazing to have this and utilize this while we're on the road. Instead of just a truck that doesn't have a shower, doesn't have a table, doesn't have a sink, doesn't, you know, all these amenities that make your life so much easier when you're on the road. So we've switched on yet. This is the back side of the truck. Here's the door going out. Little handle, it locks for your safety and security. Not only does this lock, but it also opens. So you have a screen door. On cooler nights, we leave it open. This table, I mean, it's really solid table. So we utilize that. We both sit here, we play cards. The cards are actually in the office supplies. I like that you don't have to take anything apart. The only thing I have to do to lower this bed, which is here, is just take these two cushions off and pull this latch. The table folds down. It, it's, this part sits here. Our bed comes down. This bed is amazingly comfortable. We've been in hotels where we've actually walked out of the room and said, we'll just sleep in a truck. It's more comfortable. It's a very nice wide bed for her and I. We have plenty of room. In a, in a regular truck, you're, you're tight trying to sleep on a bed or you're, you know, a, a bunk truck where one's on one bed and one's on the other. I have the pleasure of being able to sleep beside my wife every night that she's with me. And it's just convenient. It takes three seconds to put it down and three seconds to put it back up. It, it's no time at all. This is our bathroom. My wife will usually sit here and do her hair and makeup with this mirror. Like I said, whenever I addressed this before, the shower is actually bigger than what we were thinking it was gonna be. So the lights on, has a speaker inside the shower. It also has a commode inside the shower that you can utilize, but the water's as hot as you want it. I think we have a 40 gallon tank. So as long as you don't have both of them wide open, you could take a half hour shower with no problem. My wife, you know, she's able to wash and do her hair and condition it with no problem, shave. I don't do that, but you get the drift. But yeah, I, uh, it's just super convenient. Trying to park at a truck stop, a lot of times we, we work late hours, so we don't get the opportunity to, to find a spot in at the truck stop. So we can park anywhere. We can park at the rest area where they don't have showers, but we always have a shower no matter where we're at. Even if it's the racetrack, you know, we're off to the side in the marshalling yards or something. You'll see all of us go there and shower at the end of the day. It's just extremely nice. This is the best feature, in my opinion, of these trucks is being able to work hard and shower at the end of the night. Cause you wake up fresh, you, you're able to sleep. You, you go to bed clean, you get a full night's sleep because you're clean. You're not trying to go to bed waiting for a shower, your first opportunity to get one. My first opportunity to get a shower is whenever I decide to take a shower. One of the best parts about having this truck. Right, so this is the business end of getting the cars from point A to point B. This is what makes my title a truck driver. 90% of my job is an automotive transport specialist. We secure the cars, we deliver the cars safely, we inspect the cars, load the cars, deliver the cars, but we still drive. 
And as you can see, this is a man's truck. It has 10 gears. It's a 10 speed. I love having this. I, I've always liked this versus an automatic. So I like to keep shifting as long as I can until they deem it unnecessary. This truck is like all the other trucks. Most of us run a CB so we can talk to people, find out about traffic conditions. I've been saved hours and hours and hours of time by being able to avoid a highway shutdown just by having my CB on. Everything else is pretty basic. We run an electric logbook that keeps track of our hours for us, takes all the guesswork out, tells us when we need to take a break, tells us when we need to shut down. At first, this was difficult for a lot of people to do, myself included, but now I love it. It's super convenient, very convenient. I love the electronic logbook. All of our gauges that we monitor, I have a very nice radio system in this. And as you've seen in the bunk that I didn't address, there's a switch back there that will flip on and off the seven or eight speakers back there. So if my wife doesn't want to listen to the song I'm listening to, she just flips the switch and it shuts off. And if she likes what's going on, she can flip the switch and we can crank it up and keep on going down the road. Other than that, it's just a basic Kenworth T660, has a Packard engine. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, so you've seen where we hang out. You've seen where we are when we drive. We've talked about the trailer and how many cars we can put inside. So let's open it up and check it out. This is a, called a Kentucky Six. We can put six vehicles in it. We put three vehicles up top, three vehicles on the bottom. The configurations change depending on the vehicles. We have larger SUVs, some of the stuff that's coming out now. We can't put six of them in there. We can't put six massive trucks inside here. Sometimes it's only three. So we configure the ramps. The top ones go up and down. The bottom is obviously a kind of a flat floor, but it's stationary. But the top moves up and down. So that's how we configure it. And a lot of it's, like I said, it's using my brain, figuring out how to piece the cars in there to get them to fit. Uh, some of them are extremely close together. Some of them we have all kinds of room. But this is where we actually go to work. So that's why I say a lot of our job happens right here, not just behind the the seat. We don't back up to, to docks. Somebody, nobody else unloads these vehicles for us. Sometimes we do have assistance. Um, sometimes we have a team of people. Sometimes we have a camera crew, a film crew. They come and do a, a production of us loading and unloading the vehicles. But for the most part, it's you by yourself utilizing the skills you've learned in training, what you've learned through trial and error, what works best for you, what doesn't, and just the other drivers. That's one of the great things here um, that I've noticed. And any of the places that you go and you load cars, Hardly anyone will leave unless you're done. They always come and ask, hey, do you need, I'm getting ready to take off, do you need a hand with something? If you need help, let me know. We're constantly helping each other out. Just that extra set of eyes and those extra set of knowledgeable hands of somebody that knows what they're doing makes your job so much easier. So you're by yourself when you do this, but if you're at an event, you're not by yourself. All the reliable drivers help each other. It's a close-knit family when it comes to doing those type of jobs and that kind of work. So if you're interested in it, reach out to uh, the reliable team here. Talk to Tim Sleem, an amazing, amazing person. I will never regret the phone call I made to him when he answered and, and brought me on board. A lot of wonderful people work here. The maintenance team is amazing. We have some of the great mechanics that have gone through my truck and fixed things that I didn't even know were wrong. They just catch it. They're like, ah, I'm gonna fix that too. So it's been wonderful to have the maintenance crew that we have here, the training crew, the safety crew, the management. I've never had an issue with not a single person here. I love the dispatch. I've never been able to say that before about jobs that I've worked at, delivering cars. I've only delivered cars. I've never done freight. I've only worked hauling cars. Everybody's different, personalities are different. I've never had a single issue with the team here at Reliable. My wife and I, we love being here, so thank you for having us. I'm really not a car nut, I'm not. So a lot of people will talk about the cars and the engines and I'm like, yeah, I just know that it's an amazing car. We did a lot of stuff for celebrities and, and they'll talk about the car and I'm, I feel lost. So I've tried to do research and feel like I'm on top of the car before I get there to give it to them. They're like, what do you think of this car? And I don't look, you know, but I know how to secure them and I know how to drive them and I know how to take care of them and I know how to, to get them there safely. Yeah, I'm more of a motorcycle guy. For Reliable, one of the coolest things I would have to say is taking Jay Leno's collection from Rhode Island to California, doing a photo shoot for the day, loading them back up and taking them back to Rhode Island. We've met a lot of amazing celebrities that trust us with these cars. Some of them can't be replaced. Just getting to meet those people and hear their story. I, 
Personally, I really don't like doing dealerships. I never have because you take the car and you drop it off and they say, just put it over there and it's just a car. You don't get a story. I love the stories. Like we just dropped off a 1932 Rolls Royce Phantom II. It's not an everyday car. And the guy's grandpa bought the car new, passed it down to his grandson who's now mature. So he's kept that and now they're just doing tune-ups on it. So I love those stories and the connection that people give with those cars. And you realize that it doesn't matter the amount of money the car is worth, it's that it's priceless to that particular person because it has meaning and value and sentimental value. So we take care of them all the same. I, I treat every car the exact same, no matter what it is. If people ask what's the coolest car I've delivered, for me it was two. We delivered a Coenus Egg to a famous boxer. You might know him. And that was a really, really amazing thing. Everybody's trying to figure out what car he had. And my wife and I had it inside the trailer. And the other was a 1903 Buick. I picked it up at an auction and took it to the person that bought it and it had wicks inside the candle, inside the uh, headlights that you had to use oil and light it. It was just amazing. Like you don't see those cars. You don't get to see them all the time. And we've seen rare cars. I just enjoy that part. The, if, if the person has a story with the car, I remember it for, for a long time. But if it's just, you know, a dealership car, yes, we do it and we do it professionally, but I love the stories that the people tell that are attached to the cars. You know, I've gotten reviews and people just love me, but it's that I relate to them. You know, I talk to them. I don't really talk about the car. So no, I'm not a car guy, but I am a people person. I love talking to the people. So that's why I love this job very much. I think one of the benefits of being a truck driver, my wife was hoping I would gain weight. It didn't happen. I guess I was walking too much. So she got me this to keep me from walking. So I use this almost everywhere I go. But every time we stop and I'm by myself and I need to go somewhere, I hop on this board and go off. serves two pole, two fold. I get to have a great time while I'm on it. And she's hoping that it'll slow down my exercise and I can gain weight. All right, so that concludes my tour of this truck. Thanks for hanging out with me and following me along. Thanks for coming inside my home and seeing my work. I appreciate you guys. If you're interested, check out Reliable Carriers. I got to go.